You can ride for fun or ride to be the fastest. And there's a rare breed of riders who do anything they want. The Trial Bikers. Ultimate control is what they're craving for. This eight-time world champion takes you on a journey you have never seen before. Don't miss Kenny Belay's Big Time Trial Adventure. I still remember Hans Ray 10 years ago, he was appearing in a TV show with his trials bike. And from that moment I just knew that trials had more to offer than just hard workouts and uh, competition riding. So I started to think about how could I do the same. I convinced some sponsors to help me out and now, a couple of years later, I'm having the best time of my life. A good thing today is the, the whole scene on the internet with uh, the street trials going on because three trials is a very accessible way to learn the sport and many kids they are very much attracted by by this new hype and uh, I think for the future of trials it's the best thing that could, could happen. In this second episode, Ken is searching for the boundaries and future of street trials in London. Meet up with American bike legends like Dave Mirror, Aaron Chase and Jeff Lenoski, while trials and freeride pioneer Hans Ray takes us on a mountain bike expedition to Maui. It's 5 a.m. in the morning and we're on our way to the biggest street trial meeting ever in London. We hope to meet up with some influential street riders who are giving trials a whole new dimension. My name's Jack Meek and I'm 25 and I've been riding for nine years. I come from Reading in the UK which is very close to London and uh, I've organised a ride today. This wouldn't be possible without every individual person here being so enthusiastic about bike trial and putting the effort into getting it. So give yourself a massive round of applause. All right.
everybody's come together. The natural riders have come out of the woods and they've come onto the streets and uh, you know they're shocked by the amount of skill. I mean, Danny McCaskill's ripping lines today. Hi, I'm Danny McCaskill. Uh, I'm 23 years old and I am from Edinburgh. Uh, I've been riding for 12 years. Yes. I kind of ride a, a sort of mix. I just like to kind of do a mix of kind of BMX and trials, kind of street, and just sort of roll about and have fun. If there's nobody watching me, I'd still do the same thing over and over. I still push myself just the same. So it's kind of, I'm not really, I don't need people watching to sort of make me do what I do. But if there's people doing it, it's, it's fine by me, kind of. Thing. So yeah, it's good. The self-expression is slowly growing at the moment uh, into being a rider that can ride street and ride natural at the same time. And I think it makes you a much happier rider because if you go down one avenue only, it's, it's, you're being quite strict to yourself and you can get to a certain point where you might get unhappy with the progress of your riding because you, you, you lose skills in certain areas which the, both the opposites can pick up and join together. Sort of a real mix of two styles and there's people that kind of blend the two. I tend to do sort of mainly one which is kind of just rolling about kind of BMX style moves. It's so accessible because you can just walk out your doorstep and it's, you're right there. So. I heard a lot about this more creative kind of trials riding, but after seeing it, I was even more enthusiastic about it. Street has a lot of potential to help us make the sport bigger and to create new moves. Because in the competition scene where I come from, it's only about performance, endurance and getting in shape. Today was incredible. I really enjoyed London. There was an endless amount of spots to shred and something I noticed was the relaxed vibe amongst the street riders, since I'm used to hang around in a more competitive atmosphere. Maybe it's time to travel the globe and see how things progress on the other side of the ocean. We're now in Cleveland, Ohio in front of Race MTB Mountain Bike Park. It's the biggest indoor mountain bike park of the world. Today's Legends Weekend, so I'm going to meet riders like Jeff Lenoski, Dave Mira, Aaron Chase, Hans Ray, and many others. Let's have a look inside. Coming to race indoor mountain bike park is always amazing. I've been here now four or five times. It's always changing, it's always expanding. You see all these different riders, from the top pro riders to beginners, fathers with their kids, girls, you see BMX riders, you see cross country riders, you see dirt jumpers, you know, you see it all and they all have fun. Every city in the world should have a park like this. Hey, how are you doing? My name is Aaron Chase. I'm 30 years old from Vernon, New Jersey, and I'm a free ride mountain biker. Trials is really like the base of technical riding. It's uh it's as technical as it gets, and I think everybody draws a little bit of influence from it, um, even from jumping or riding skate parks when you're doing wall rides or tire tapping. It's just basically precision bike control. I think all, a lot of guys get a lot of uh, influence from trials. I'm Dave Mira. I live in Greenville, North Carolina. I'm 34 years old, and I ride BMX freestyle. been pro for, well, since 92, so I guess it's like 16 or 17 years. Like a lot of us, I mean, I never thought it was going to last even close to this long. To still be riding a bike and still making a living and still, it's, it's just balancing on a big wave as long as you can.
Hey guys, what's going on? This is Mike Steadley, and I'm a seven-time U.S. National Trials Champion. So I've been riding about 10 or 12 years now, and uh, definitely some of the big influences are a lot of the European riders, but I would have to say the guys who really started off for me would be Hans Ray and Jeff Lenoski. I think the progress of trials is, is absolutely amazing. I mean, I started riding trials close to 20 years ago, and pretty much my whole career we just did it on stock mountain bikes, and then seeing now what guys can do when they... Uh, completely custom build a bike. The moves they do, it's, it's totally amazing. It's stuff I never thought was possible. If you're a beginner, sport level rider, you can do it on any bike. It's really, really cool about evolution and in everybody's mind how they see things a little bit different than when, you know, the guys before me and then I saw things a little different and they see things different. It just keeps going on and on. So. Trials in the U.S. is a little bit different than in Europe. We don't have quite as much competitions. It's kind of based more on mixing in a little bit of free riding and North Shore riding. What it's going to take to have trials in the X Games, I get scared that with all the motorized sports coming into X Games, are we as BMX still going to be in the X Games? It, it's changing so much from what it used to be. I love the X Games; it's still a you know a huge platform. That's a, that's a good question. We just need to get the exposure, get it in front of more people, because if they see it, they'll like it. Ow. Kenny and his generation, they have taken it now to the new level. And even though this is not really a trials park here, there's a lot of lines you can find if you're a trials rider. And um, I think Kenny impressed a lot of people. And from here on, we're going to head out back to California to my house for a night tomorrow. And then we're going to go to Maui. And I'm going to take Kenny on a mountain bike adventure. So stay tuned. <laughs>